Okay, we're back, and um, so last time we did was uh, create a admin account and a uh, standard limited user account. Um, I actually demoted myself because the reason why I did that is uh, I wanted to keep the same settings, the same account that I was using. If I made a new account and use that, I have to change some settings around, and that's why I didn't want to do it. So that's why I, you know, demoted myself back to a standard user uh, for that account. But now that we're at a uh, standard user, it's a little bit different because whenever you want to install some stuff or change some system settings around that'll affect your whole computer, um, it's gonna you know pop up a password and tell you to type it in, and um, that's a one way to you know block viruses that try to install themselves. They can't install themselves without a password. Now I say like most viruses, not you know some of viruses can you know bypass that, but like I said, um, <clears throat> this is better than nothing. Okay, that's the reason why you should do this. So for example, if I uh, run this VLC here, uh, I want to run it, and it's a problem for the password. Oh yeah, um, <clears throat> you won't be able to see it. Uh -huh. uh, if I, let me click on no first, and you see if I click on no. I don't have the password but what it looks like is this although my screen capture program you know they can't capture that uh, but this is what it looks like when I double click on this uh, VLC okay and I try to run it that's what it looks like and I have to type in my password now if I do type in my password um, it's gonna allow me to install it so I'm, I'm gonna do it now so now I can install it if I wanted to. So all right, there you go. And same thing applies if you ever want to change, uh, you know, system settings in your control panel or whatever it is. Uh, it's gonna prompt you for a password. And um, <clears throat> that's it. So that's a a good way to uh, keep yourself from the battle of viruses. You know, that's just one way. There's other ways to do this, but um, I would recommend it for everyone. Uh, it's kind of like a Linux system, you know, where they have uh, root and then normal user, okay? Uh, maybe do that for your family if they don't know what the fuck they're doing and all they do is, um, you know, just surf the internet or whatever. Uh, it's actually a good recommendation to do that. Uh, that's it for this one.